What's up guys, how y'all doing? Cosmic Carry here, bringing you another World of Tanks video, and today I am introducing another fellow YouTuber that goes by the name of All That Magic, and uh, this gentleman has a fantastic, a really great YouTube channel. Uh, really, really uh, does seem to be centered about, uh, uh, around uh, fun and enjoying yourself in World of Tanks, and uh, and world of tank knowledge, you know, sharing the knowledge, sharing the wealth, and all of that good stuff, and uh, all uh, very, very decent content. Uh, I watch his uh, videos all the time, absolutely 100%. He does a, a combination of things. He does like uh, dates, and uh, he did, he's got some like uh, training vids up there, and um, he's a, he's a, a big fan of the KV5. He loves his KV5. And uh, and he, and he's done quite a few uh, tank reviews as well. I think it was the the E seventy five, the Carnarvon, uh, Yak Tiger eighty eight, etc., etc., uh, the KV five as well. And uh, but he's uh, he, he's it's very very uh, well put together videos. Uh, you can see it takes a lot of time and effort into doing what he does. He platoons regularly with um, like Mobius Y, Joe the Frogman. Uh, which are highly respected uh, World of Tanks players, you know, so and uh, actually they both have YouTube channels themselves as well but uh, a, a fantastic YouTuber, an avid forumer uh, great all-rounder, basically <laughs> another yank, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm looking for a Brit <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And, uh, yeah, so highly recommend this guy. Go ahead, uh, click in the link in the description. Subscribe to him 100%. Uh, you will not be disappointed. 100%. Go ahead. I'm going to leave you with a little, uh, little, 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 I'm going to leave you with a little vid that he did, um, with regards to a secret spot on Abbey. Ooh. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> Adios, muchachos. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another World of Tanks video. Alright, so I'm going to show you this secret spot on Abbey. Some of you may already know about this spot, but I'm just going to show you anyway. I think it is a very helpful spot. Alright, so here we are. I am platooned up with Daffy Duck. He has been a few of my other videos. I'm in my VK3001P and he's in his Cromwell. Alright, so I'm gonna be heading up the 8 line here with Daffy. We weren't so sure at the beginning if we would be able to get here in time, but this is the first time Daffy has ever shown me this. And I think we took advantage of this spot. It actually possibly saved us the game. And I wasn't sure if my tank was going to be able to make it to the spot. So yeah. We cross here into the water, into this island. We're trying not to get detected going up here. Just being very cautious. Oh, T1 Heavy appears. Target acquired. Let's find another target. Trying to get a shot on him. This thing has no gun depression. Trying not to get hit at the same time. There we go. This is very odd. Look at this. Bounce. I'm like, okay, I think I aimed a bit low. Let me try again. Bounce. I think I know where I'm hitting that. I'm hitting that, like, little ridge. Right where it curves at an extreme angle. But then it hits, like... Mm. I don't know. I try and... Yeah, I hit him right on the 
this side there. So. Here we are debating on whether we should cross or not. Yeah, I'm just following Daffy. So, we're going to try and get in that crevice right there. I'm looking at that and I'm like, this thing is not going to fit. And I forgot to put myself on busy. This was kind of a last minute record, so I wasn't really sure if I should turn on busy or not. Just forgot about it. I'm just looking at how he's getting up there. I, I believe I get there up there quicker than he did. There we go. Yeah, this is a a very interesting spot here. I hope they don't patch it. And also, another thing, uh, you know, Kamaran? They got rid of that jumping rock there, and that's the only thing I looked forward to on that map, because I would like drive my Luxor uh, ELC, get on that map, and I was like, oh boy, I really can't wait for that rock, just because, like, you jump off it if you get that spawn. I believe it's the. Uh, south spawn to get to, but then they removed that rock, and that that set me off. <laughs> no, I was just very confused why they did that. Here I am, trying to get up. There I go. Trying to click it for me. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I end up going right here. Oh no, we are being capped. So this is where we actually kind of save the game, or Daffy saves the game. He's up there, he's able to shoot at the spawn and reset the cap. So that is the power of this spot. Come on. Hammering away. They are never going to cap that base. <laughs> so he just keeps on resetting that cap. Finally gave up on the gap, but he's not getting away that easy. That he's gonna do. He lights him on fire. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting upset at me here trying to, because <laughs> I tried to steal his kill. But yeah, very, very good spot. I just hope it doesn't get removed, because I mean. You can see the whole map from here. And I'm sure plenty of you have already found out this spot, but I'm just expressing the feeling about it. Yeah, Daffy tries to get up there. But yeah. Very nice spot. <laughs> Yeah, we're just goofing around here for the rest of the game, hoping that they'll appear on that ridge so we can get a few shots in. I mean, I didn't do any damage this game. He did, though. So we we were not completely useless that game. So it's a very effective, fun spot. It's a very good thing to have. 
I believe what Davka said is that we're gonna work while we're having some fun playing on this ridge. <sighs> Jeez, whenever I, whenever I look at the game, I'm just, I keep on thinking through my head. I can't wait until it comes out on the Xbox One. I don't know when it's coming out, but I hope it's soon. Cause that's gonna be very, very nice. I'll have no other reason to play my 360. <laughs> Cause that's, I mean, that's really the only reason why I still have my 360 is for World Tanks, and I do like Halo Reach. Any of you that play Halo, they need to remaster Halo Reach. If you agree with me on that, then say something in the comments. That's a very fun game. Also, um, any Star Wars fans out there, the new Star Wars movie and Star Wars Battlefront coming out this December, I believe. So yeah, that's going to be very fun. Lunch 23 damage. Yeah, look at that. 1,551 damage. Very nice. I mean, although that those were small numbers, we still did a lot for that game. Alright. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.